Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. It is your very first time coming across one of my videos. You're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber or a return viewer, thanks so much for coming back to check my video, to view my video, you know. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. And if you like, share. You're free to share. So, guys, in this video, and um, I've received a lot of a lot of comments like this. Like every single person keep telling me that. I can actually see people of Ghana telling me that. And the comment I'm talking about is about me speaking my native language. And what actually causes it that I'm making them to be telling me to go and do that is actually to be speaking my own native language is because I've been seeing a lot of things, like a lot of things have been going on with Nigerian Ghana issues like when it's in Ghana that since happen, they want to talk about Nigeria, they do speak native language. So their native languages are what they will be speaking. So what I'm talking about there is that I just say that if you're going to be speaking about other people's country, you have to speak general language that people can understand. In case there is mistake, maybe you make mistake, we'll be able to know and correct you that that's not how it is, this is how it is. You know, people make mistakes. We are, we are human beings. We are meant to be making mistakes sometimes and we correct it. So that's what I said there. But I think a lot of some people just did take it as something is because I said in that video that if you are talking about people, other African country or any other country people in your country and you're talking about them in your native language, that means you're talking behind their back. You can't face them to see what you see. Or it's either you're actually lying on, you are lying about what you said about them. Like what you're saying is not true. If it's true, you'll be bold enough to speak the language they can understand. So that if they hear, they will know that you're talking about them and this is what you said about them. And they won't be able to even drag it with you if they know that it's true. So, you know that you're speaking it and you're not breaking it out, you're not, you know. Something like that just feel like you're lying. When was I wrong? I'm not. I don't think I'm wrong. So, there are, some people see it a different way. Like, um, is they appreciate their own culture. They speak their language. They appreciate their language. You too be speaking your language. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. I should be speaking my language. If, I speak, if I am speaking my language, will you be able to hear what I said? That's exactly the same thing as what I said you should be doing. I said you should be speaking your, you should be speaking the other language that we can understand. As now that I'm talking about you, that you should be, spe you are speaking behind our back. If I also want to speak behind your back, I also speak my native language. I don't understand it. You won't even value it because you don't know what it's about. So only people, only your people are the ones that will see it. So, but because what I'm saying, I know that okay, at least. This is what I confirmed. And if it's not it, if you think it's not the way I said it, you can also feel free to also bring your own and uh, whatsoever you think about it to comment down below and see whatever you wanted to see about it. So that's how I think it's supposed to be. Yeah. So my native language is <laughs> my choice. Speaking my native language is my choice. If I speak it, not everyone understand it. And in Nigeria, do you know the amount of languages we have? So even my people, so many people of my country will not even understand that's why. So I choose to speak English because I want a lot of people to understand. So if they want people to understand, they don't even need to, pro to broadcast something that you don't want them to know. That you only want to keep between you guys because it feels like you want to keep it within you. That are Ghanaians. That's how it feels. So I don't hold anything against you. I did a video recently as well about um, people ripping other content and showing it on your, um, and playing it on your uh, national radio in Ghana. That's our Nigerian movies. I talk about a lot of things there as well. And I see that anytime, one thing I realize is anytime I try to correct you, I don't think it's only me, anybody, because I've been watching some videos as well, seeing the conversations of you guys. Whenever they try to correct you, you don't want to listen to correction. All you do is just come and attack the person that was trying to correct you. Well, it's not by force to listen, no. And it's not by force for people to say the truth as well. And it's not by force for you to, like, I've already said, it's not by force for you to listen. And it's not by force for you to ask me to stop as well. I would do it if I wanted to. So for me to speak the truth as well, it's not by force. So I choose to speak my mind. For me to speak my mind, it's not my fault. I choose to speak it. So, 
<laughs> it doesn't cause fights. We do what we want to. You know, the free world. The free world. I exactly watched one video. I want to talk about the video. You know, guys. So I remember this my <laughs> my this thing. And someone actually make me to use it today. I feel like I don't want it to spoil because I've been just folding it. I will look for some way that I will just hang it so that it will not be folding, folding. I don't want it to destroy. It's really, it's very, very last. It's a very lasting one. So someone tell me in the video I did, if you watch the mic video I did, that the difference between the wireless and non-wire one, the wireless and the wire one, <laughs> I mean. So you will hear that. I said a lot of things in that video. Since I bought this, actually, I've never even buy battery. No, I've never bought any battery. It's the battery that comes with it. It's using battery, okay? I don't know if I open it. Maybe it's a... I don't know. I've never opened it by myself before. You see? It's using battery. Yeah. I've never opened it by myself, except for where they helped me to do it. That's where I bought it. So, and I've never changed it. And it's almost like... It's going to two years that I've been using this wire microphone. So I'm addicted to the wireless one now. The person that make me to be using this is actually my subscriber on both my channel, Quelum Entertainment TV show and Quelum Space. So he commented there that the both of them actually have audible voice. And I also realized it after I've already posted the video. If I realize it when I'm editing, I think I realize, but I forgot to add written something. Like I should just write something and let you know that okay. I just realized it. So I realized in that video that both of them are actually audible for it. The only difference is that the wireless one is it has bass, you know. So that makes it feel like it's you know it's strong, like it has some special kind of voice that it's giving, you understand? And as well, it's always helped me to block noises like background noise. This one does not block any background noises. So, and it's because it's silent. That's why I'm using it as well. Because if I see that there are a lot of noises going around, I don't think I'll be using this. I'll just be using the wireless one. So, that's why I'm using this. And I realize it's so good. It's very, very good as well. And about the video I talk about, <laughs> the video I said that I watched recently, I actually watched the video on already name. So, I will also put the picture of the video and the titles. Guys, so you can go and check it out if you want to watch. The video is actually very, very good. It's about the interview. The interview, Nigerian Ghana guy. <laughs> that actually seems like comedy to me. <laughs> like I was laughing so hard. It's so funny. So the sound is actually really it's a reality interview, trying to match couple together, a Nigerian lady and a Ghana man. You know, I've never even known that Ghana people have that kind of character of that kind of humor you get it <laughs> you guys should go and watch that video you're laughing in the beginning they turn back to each other you know reactor mode i don't know i think they have never seen each other i guess so they turn back to each other and when they were talking they were talking about okay what kind of lady do you want and the guy was saying she wants a lady, a lady that have a very big bump like bum bum <laughs> And if you see that guy, that guy is very, he's so thin. I was like, you? Can you, like, can you even do that? Like, so the lady actually was, actually it's a gay as well. She has front and she has back. But you know the funniest part is that when they turn to each other, when they turn their faces to each other. So the interview was said that they should turn around, like the girl should turn around. The girl, okay, I think the guy actually first said that he wanted to see her when she asked that the, the girl me the um, the quality that she wants in a lady. She says she wants the bulb, the big bulb, you know, something like that. And the lady actually said she wants a um a man with that is God fearing and also handsome that has money. You know, when I'm talking about money, I mean money. So <laughs> they turned to each other and I was like, ah, the, they asked the girl, do you think about the guy? He said the guy was cold. And when the guy would talk, the guy, the guy was like, <laughs> it was like, no, 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 no. It's okay, but it's not, <laughs> it's not enough. It's not enough for me. <laughs> Guys, I was laughing like I was running on the floor. Like, 
<laughs> what is this? That's a red comedy. Even if they stick the comedy, I don't think it's gonna be so sweet like that. And if they actually stick it, guys, it's so funny. I enjoyed watching it. Like, she was like, no, she doesn't reach that. That bomb is not enough for him. That's what he's just looking for. See, the moment the girl heard that one, I think the lady had just started sparkling. So she didn't say anything. No, she now just. When it's not at tone, like, okay, what do you think about him? And he was like, it's not my speck. Ah! <laughs> it shocked me. The guy has become, the guy I actually become tiny. Like, you know, when you are shocked, you are, you are also embarrassed. You get it? <laughs> so I was like, you started this to face. Like, you are the first person to say that this girl is not your. She's not me, the requirement of just what you want in the girl. Like, can you create a person? So, <laughs> when they has the guy, the girl, the lady, I mean, what do you think about the guy? It was like, oh, actually, why he didn't, she didn't like her. Like, why she didn't like him is because, first of all, he's so skinny. And second of all, he don't have money. <laughs> and the guy was like, no. I'm going to... <laughs> the guy was like, no. He has money that... So the girl, the girl was not talking about how he dressed. Like you can, you can actually smell it that it, it doesn't have anything. So the girl was saying, he has money. He's just coming back from the US. <laughs> the US. By hearing that as well, I was shocked. Like wow, US. And <laughs> he said, they said we are in US. We are in US. Did he went to? And he said UK. United States. UK in the United States of america <laughs> now that's crazy like ah guys i mean wow there are people in this world who i swear you know what i want to bring out in this video is like something it sounds like something like what you don't have that you're just bragging about normally i didn't say all Ghanaian like that but i know Ghanaian to boast so i think Ghanaian like Bra bra, the lag gra gra. Like we have this, we do this. I do this. I have this. That's exactly the personality that dear that Ghana representative man guy. That is what is actually portraying. That's what is showing exactly that character of that kind of thing that they do. Like brag. That's what is showing there. I was like, wow, fantastic. So I'm not gonna surprise about a lot of things anymore. <laughs> like I can actually see your. I can actually see their. A representative one of them at way and i can see it is with them like you know <laughs> you haven't even told the girl the girl haven't even agree with you like even when the girl firstly said that it's cool i was like well <laughs> so i think the guy actually think that the lady was in love <laughs> lady like him so that's why he said she said it's cool and the lady was like i only said it's cool i didn't say i like him <laughs> So <laughs> they, you know, it actually ended in it ended in tears. <laughs> they didn't work out, you know, <laughs> you know that feeling. <laughs> the girl was like, "Don't look at me. We don't just talk because of the way I'm dressed." You no, know? I have money. So the girl now said, "I wanted to trust the man." So the guy should just transfer ten thousand CDs, <laughs> Ghana CDs to to her. So that's when. It will confirm, she will confirm that it's rich when he said it's rich because he keeps telling about there is money, you know, something like that. But he couldn't say anything, he just keep bragging as well. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> empty. <laughs> but it's so funny, though. So it's like entertaining something. I really like that kind of stuff, like interviewing people. Uh, yeah, I love it. I like it. Yeah. Was I going to give it a try? Mm -hmm. I don't have the equipment to do dance, you know. <laughs> I can't just carry from and be interview people, you know. I don't have the equipment. And another thing, second of all, second of all, first of all is I don't have equipment. You know, I don't even know that there are this kind of people like <laughs> this side of kind of people of Ghana, like, oh my god. Nigerians do brag, you know. They do brag, do lie when they want a game. But they don't, I don't think I've never seen, I've never met a guy that got to that level of saying he's a billionaire and why he's actually <laughs> naira naira. You get it? <laughs> That's crazy. It's coming from the US. You don't have to brag, you know. If someone like you, the person will like you 
for you, for you being you, being real you. That's how you actually find true love as well. Because you can't find true love by lying. If you're lying, you will have fake love because they will love you for the lies, love for who you are. So I think there's a lot of things that is of lies about, you know, I don't want to judge everyone about this thing, but I know that if it's us, if it's Nigeria, I know Ghana will judge. So there are actually a lot of lies about you guys. Yeah. I'm not judging you because of it. I'm judging. That's just like someone that come and expose, that come and expose a little bit about you. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> it sounds like comedy though, but there are truths. You know, inside jokes is where the real truth is. You get it? Inside jokes is where the real truth always come from. So, anyhow... Anyhow, anyhow, so go and watch it very safe and tell me what you think about the video. So thanks so much for watching my video and I'm going to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.